Smiths have just released the second album proper. It's called Meet His Murder, and it's described in one of the music papers as the first chart-topping rad veg LP. Carnivorous Mark Ellen went to see the band, putting the final touches to the record, and talked to Morrissey and Johnny Marr about the controversial title. Well, I think the statement is, is well, self-explanatory, really. And we use it because we feel that um, popular music should be used in order to make serious statements. Because um, so many groups sell masses and masses of records and don't raise people's level of consciousness in any direction. And we find that quite sinful, especially in uh, these serious times. How would you like people to react then to the, the title of this LP? Um, well, if they eat meat, I'd like them just to think about it and just to take it from there, really. Because there doesn't really seem to be anything else in modern life that, that makes people think about this um, subject, really. I mean, I think many people are still under the uh, assumption that meat has absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with animals. Mm -hmm. You know, animals play in fields, etc., and meat is just something that appears on the plate. Which is quite strange because on, on many, many other issues I think people have become very aware and very enlightened. But on this, this very brutal, barbarous issue, you know. Park the car at the side of the road You should know Time's tide will smother you And I will too When you left about people it's so very lonely, their only desire is to die But I'm afraid it doesn't make me smile I wish I could laugh But that joke isn't funny anymore Johnny, your manager, says that the LP is, is the Smith Sergeant Pepper. Oh, is, is this an, an accurate description, do you think? Um, I wouldn't say so, no. <laughs> um, it's quite different in that, I mean, we're producing, we, we have produced the LP ourselves. And um, I, I think in many ways it's a lot more direct than, than maybe our, our records have been so far. But um, Sergeant Pepper, um, I'm, not, I'm not too sure about that one. I mean, it's, it's a, obviously we regard it as being uh, the best thing we've done so far. How do, how do you come to write them then? I mean, do, do you first bring in the, the words and then Johnny puts some chords to it and then everyone else tries to arrange them or, or what? No, Johnny, Johnny puts the music down on a cassette um, with guitar and he gives me the cassette and I live with the cassette for a few days and I just um, wheedle words into the cassette and then we just all get together and it just happens at, at the drop of a cassette. And there we, ha there we have it. So there are, there are songs about um, pro-vegetarianism, there's songs about anti-monarchy. Mm -hmm. um, is, there, is there anything in life worse than a, a meat-eating member of the royal family then? Or? Uh, certainly not, no, I don't think so, but I'm on the lookout for something. I'll what, let what you know other, if I find anything. What other songs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what other songs, uh, what are the rest of them about? Yes, there's a song called Russian Ruffians about going to a fair and uh, being stabbed. Fairs in Manchester, fun fairs in Manchester, uh, are very violent things. These things where communities get together for fun and frolics, etc., and somebody always ends up being stabbed, uh, and um, which of course adds to the excitement. <laughs> There is a lyric on it which goes, I'd like to drop my trousers to the Queen. Mm. Any young man would know what I mean. Um, any sensible child would know Any what sensible I mean. child. Yes, yeah. yes, that's certainly a lyric that's on there somewhere. Yes. Why, why is that? Explanation? Why is that in there? Oh, um, 
I think, in essence, what it really means is, is t again, total dissatisfaction with um, royalty and reducing it to the, the ludicrousness that it really is. So I think in, in virtually every song there is some a serious um, message, a serious implication, but it's all done, I think, with, with, with great um, humour. I, I don't want to, to, mm. to make it sound trivial, but mm. um, we're not doom-laden by any means. You have been presented, though, haven't you, as, as this sort of ailing Victorian romantic with a, with a permanent health problem, you know? Which isn't really, as far as I'm concerned, a slur. I can live with that. <laughs> I mean, if somebody said that, that I was a... You're inc proud of this. Inc well, if somebody said that I was a, a, a rock and roller or whatever... Incurable match, yeah. Mm. Incurable Well, they'd never say that. Mm. Are you as profoundly miserable as... as no, they not really. Like not really. Again, that just simply becomes somewhat of a pigeonhole, somewhat of a tag. And um, if you like a label, no, I don't think so. But the, the lyrics would suggest that you're, you're permanently on the verge of despair and suicide. Uh, the, in, in, in a way they do, but in another more serious and affecting way, I don't think they, I don't think they do because, because I feel that, that, that I write with humour. Mm. And I never get recognition for this. But um, when people say Morrissey is so miserable, to me it's just a lazy journalism. It's just a very surface opinion. Yeah. 